Good afternoon from my very messy apartment in Cuenca, Ecuador. Today we are shooting one of my favorite videos. It's about huecas in Cuenca, Ecuador. Huecas means hollow, but it actually means here kind of like a hole in the wall restaurant. Now, a lot of people think that refers to any kind of street food or cheap eats in Ecuador, but it doesn't have three commonalities. One, they usually open after 5 p.m. Two, they serve traditional food. And three, they have killer ahi. So I'm gonna share with you seven traditional huecas in Cuenca that you don't wanna miss. I'm here at Los Sandwiches de Doña Piedad and I'm here for pernil. Now, you can find pernil all over southern Ecuador and especially in Cuenca. But this one is the most traditional of all of the sandwiches. Now, if you're going to get a pernil sandwich, it's made similar to Arnado, where it's a slow roasted pork. It comes in a bun. It's just a simple white bun, but this bun is only used for these sandwiches. And of course, you have some ahi. The one here is actually much spicier, I've been told, than what you normally get in Ecuador. To make this, it's slow roasted with wine, mustard, spices. Everyone has their own recipe and everyone has a place that they like to go. It's the perfect snack and of course in Cuenca, when you're going to have some pork, you're also going to have some coconut drink. Mm. These two things together were $2.60. Let's give it a try. This is a fantastic snack. I think if you ate this, you might spoil your dinner. So you might think it's a little bit extreme to go to two pernil sandwich spots in one night, but it's not. Because I'm here at El Vecino, which has been around for a long time and is known as one of the best places to get a pernil sandwich. Now, El Vecino means neighbor, someone you can go to that's trusted. And so when you think of this hueca, it's just on the corner. It's a little spot run by a family. It's so cute. The people here are so nice. There are bars here because, well, you know what's happening right now. And you can see that the ahi they use is different. It's a cream base. They're just different. I really like the creamy ahi, but I also like the vinegar one as something different. So the other one was $1.85. This one is $1.50. It's a little bit of a walk, so you kind of walk off the calories from the last one, and then you can come and eat this one too. It's really good, worth trying both. Wakas are all about eating traditional food that's both cheap and delicious. And so you may be wondering, why am I featuring so many hot dogs? And that's because in Cuenca, a hot dog is considered a traditional food. It's been around for 53 years. And I'm actually at the very first location, which is called Despensa Tropical, whatever you call it. It is known as the very first place to seriously sell hot dogs. They still do it today. They're only a dollar and they do it a little bit differently than the other two places. So in this case, it's actually a chicken hot dog that's on like a rotisserie. And then also they serve it with mayonnaise, pickled onions, and then of course you need to put some ahi on top. Now I heard they had killer ahi, like almost fruity, citrusy, not spicy. Mild to medium kind of heat, not too crazy, but it has this like nice fruity flavor. Hmm, it's different. I think I prefer a pork or beef hot dog, but this is still pretty good. I'll just show you. It's like white on the inside. So I think this is the kind of place where if you grow up with it, you're accustomed to this flavor, then absolutely you love it. I'm just used to a stronger kind of tasting hot dog. The pickled onions are fantastic and the ahi is fantastic too. But I would say they are the stars of the show and the chicken hot dog is just there <laughs> as a placeholder for to put things on. I 
I'm here at one of the most well-known spots in Cuenca, Las Piezas de Maño. This guy is known all over the city, everyone knows him, and that's because he first started as a food truck outside of the university. And he's famous for his hot dogs for two reasons. One, because they always have a second meaning. In fact, his name means Manos Wieners, and how he names his hot dogs are Big Wiener, Little Wiener, and if you want to get something without the hot dog, uh, in Spanish it actually translates to being a little bit cheap. So like the cheap person's hot dogs. But he's also known because it's fantastic hot dogs. So the hot dogs are actually steamed alongside the onion and tomato and then topped with mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, and of course you know there's going to be some ahi. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah, that's spicy. This is the spiciest ahi I've had in quite a while. It's really good because also you've got the mayonnaise and mustard and so it's not too hot when it's all together. But it's very, very tasty. You can get this and a cocoa drink for only $1.50. All right, so we stopped off for a hot dog and the name of this place in English is actually my favorite dog, but everyone here calls it La Ventanita. It is no ordinary hot dog. So it's a steamed hot dog, but on top you can see it actually has shredded cured meat on top of it. They top it also with some onion, some mustard, some mayonnaise, and then of course you have to have ahi on it. Ecuadorians don't like to stand in line, but they did so here, and that's because this place is so popular. They were picking up 15, 20 different hot dogs at a time. And so let me see if this was worth the wait in line. Also, I think there's some parsley in here, mm, or relish, really good. If I were gonna wait in line for a hot dog, this would be the one. So we've now moved on to Soda Margarita and it is known for two things, salchipapas and secos. Secos actually has quite an interesting story and it comes from the fact that at lunch in Ecuador, you have no muerzo. It's a set lunch and there were two different courses. But in Guayaquil, it was very hot and so when the British came here, they didn't want to have a hot soup to start their lunch. They only wanted the second course. Not knowing Spanish, they just kept saying second. But Ecuadorians, not knowing English, thought, didn't know what they meant and thought they were saying seco. And so this dish is far from dry, which is what seco means, but it's now known all over Ecuador as seco. You can get it chicken or beef, you can also get it as goat, but most popular here is chicken and beef. And at this spot, they also have three different sauces. So you have a mayonnaise, and ahi, and then also you have like a salsa rosada type dish that's uh, mayonnaise and tomato sauce based. On this dish, you always have two different kinds of starches because it's meant to be a really filling meal. In this case, we've got white rice and french fries, but you could also have any other kind of starch. Mmm, very tender. It's almost like a beef stew. I wanted to taste the ahi on its own. Because everyone is a little bit different. I really like it when it starts to taste almost a little fruity. Mm. Oh, this is good. Super fresh. Ooh, this is spicy. In Ecuador, they have a drink called horchata, but it is not like horchata from Mexico at all. It's actually a drink that's made from uh, amaranth, flowers and then also a bunch of herbs from the Andes and so you get this very like uh, herbaceous kind of drink it feels like it's actually really good for you not sugary at all which I love but just a really nice like refreshing drink to go with this best for last, we're at Andreas's favorite cueca 
in Cuenca. It is called Chuzos Alexandrita and it's in southern Cuenca. Uh, the only place we've gone to that is not in the historic district and that is because it has so many different kinds of meat on a stick. We've got some corn on a stick. We have some sausage on a stick. I think there's some vegetables in there somewhere. The first one I wanted to try is moicas, which is chicken hearts, and you can see them cooking it to order. We actually tried to come here another time, and it was seven o'clock, and the chicken hearts were already sold out. Mmm! Oh wow, this is full of flavor. Lots of flavor. Great charcoal. A little bit chewy. It is hard, but to be honest. If I gave you this meat on a stick, you would probably not know that this was chicken heart and you would love it all the same. It's actually very, very tasty. Almost reminds me of when I would get uh, meat on a stick in the Philippines. Super, super good. One of the more expensive items on the menu is the paisa and that is because there are so many different things on here. The reason it's called the paisa is actually this thing right here. This is a fine herb chorizo. You've got a couple of vegetables to say the vegetables are there. And then we have two different kinds. We have the chicken, there's also a beef version, and of course you've got like lots of different meat in between. Super juicy. A lot of people think chorizo has to be Spanish and it has to be full of paprika or spicy, but actually it doesn't. It can be just a word to describe sausage especially here in Ecuador. So in 1999, I lived in the Philippines and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I had never actually eaten this chicken feet. So these are called patas. You get five of these for 75 cents here. You also get some potatoes, some plantains. You can see they have been grilled beautifully. It's kind of just like eating a chicken wing. Not as much meat as a wing, but it tastes and feels like a wing, other than like pulling back the little claws or toes, I don't know what you call them, to get to the meat. I mean, that doesn't bother me. This is the chicken neck. Again, you get one, two, three, four and a half chicken necks, plantains, potatoes, for $1.30. The thing about the neck, I think, which might be better than the feet, is it's actually got tons of meat on it. You do need to eat around it, but like, chicken neck is delicious. This place is so clean. So many people coming in and out, they're constantly cleaning, constantly disinfecting the tables, constantly sweeping. This is a really good spot. We do have a vegetarian dish here for the people who come in. This is choclo con queso. So choclo is a type of corn here. And if you ever see corn in Ecuador, you'll notice it's not like these uniformed lines. It's actually different sizes and kind of all over the place. And guys, this is what corn is supposed to look like. Ooh, it's good. It's sweet from the corn and salty from the cheese. This was my list of huecas in Cuenca that you should go to. Just because the food is cheaper doesn't mean it's not as good. In fact, this is where you will find locals from 5 p.m. onward. So definitely for lunch, go get the almuerzo, have the bigger lunch, and then at five o'clock, find out where the line is, go get the pernil sandwich, and if you can, come out here because I can see why this was Andreas's favorite wicca because it's so delicious and we got one, two, three, four, five, six huge plates. It costs us $8 and I think we have enough food for six people. So I think we're gonna be here for a little while.